All right, what is up you guys? It's your boy C8 Corey, back with another video today. So today I wanted to talk about, does anyone remember SRT Brie? She was a female YouTuber in Atlanta. She had literally YouTube in a chokehold at one point. At one point she was literally uploading every day. Like she was going, like anybody who wanted to get into cars or who was good with cars and really wanted to you know make a name for themselves everybody was watching her videos all of my friends at one point was watching all of her videos literally like i give her props she came in the game and made a name for herself and she was really transparent like she talked about her job she she talked about you know what it took to get where she was at you know and I feel like it's dope seeing other people really chase success because one, she's doing it while she's young and she's going after what she wants, which is what everybody wants to do, right? So what better role model than SRT Bree? But it's funny, I was on TikTok and the algorithm is just so good. I seen this girl post a video like what happened to SRT Bree? If I find that video, I'm gonna post it right here. Do y'all remember SRT Bree? She did the car shows and stuff and she used to shut Atlanta down. She had like a red eye and SRT Buku cars. She had me personally one in the Camaro Z01 so bad. She got me into cars so bad. I even start selling cars because I just love the fact that she did that. I'm like, girls don't usually do this. And I love, she had muscle cars, baby. She was on it. She was racing dudes, waxing them, like not playing no games. They all like, oh, mommy, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Baby, she wasn't playing no games. I just want to know, do she still drive muscle cars? Like, how's she doing? Is anybody else, did, did anybody else watch SRT Brie? I'm telling you, this is my life. I was so invested in her TikTok because I swear I was going to be in a muscle car, a track hawk, uh, uh, um, something, a ZL1. I wanted something, some type of muscle car, and I was going to race it. You, you, I, I drive like that now, so. And it literally made me think. I was like, oh, my God, what happened to Bree? Like, where has she been? All right, let me get away from these people first, though. I cannot. Everybody's just a little bit too slow for me. So, so I believe Bree has a new account now, and she's in racing school, which it's like, guys, it doesn't get any better than that. Like, somebody who's into cars is chasing their dreams and in racing school, like, come on. You are literally living people's dream right now, you know? But, and then to even have the courage to even take away time from because her brand kept growing and growing and growing and growing like everyone knew who she was she was growing like crazy she had multiple channels so she was doing really really well so personally i feel like any especially any female youtuber who's into cars you should just follow her blueprint like she literally laid the foundation down for everybody so okay so a lot of people don't know that i temporarily relocated to japan because i was selected to participate in an international drifting drag competition that will be taking place later in 2023 so before i left i had a family dinner at my house where both sides of my family came my, my grandparents parents siblings auntie uncle cousins best friends friends everybody came and i asked them to write me encouraging notes in this globe right here so i could pick out a card whenever i'm feeling discouraged or if i just need um reassurance i will pick it up in the meantime during my training and before the competition i will be traveling to each major country in asia because you know i love to travel and i would just like to say thank you so much for you guys who have been supporting me since the very beginning since i started racing cars um thank you for your support and um i just really appreciate it and i pray that you guys have a wonderful 2023 2022 has been so good to me and i just hope that next year will be even better 
I've been seeing a lot of comments and videos asking what happened to SRT Brie? So allow me to reintroduce myself. Hi, I'm Brie and I've traveled to over 40 different countries solo. I've been skydiving in Dubai, bungee jumping in Thailand, rope cycling in El Salvador, swim with turtles in Zanzibar, played with tigers in Indonesia, rode camels in Egypt, parasailed in Aruba, ziplined in St. Martin, swim with sharks in the Philippines, and so much more. One of my goals for 2023 was to travel across Asia for six months straight, and I did it. I've been to Japan, Malaysia, Vietnam, Taiwan, Laos, Cambodia, Dubai, and Qatar. I've been having such a good time that I decided to continue my travels for another six months. A lot of people ask me, Brie, how are you financially able to travel so much? Well, I served in the Army for three and a half years as a 92 Lima, which is a Petroleum Laboratory Specialist. While I was in, I used TA to get my bachelor's degree in Petroleum Engineering and secured my first overseas job in Afghanistan and Dubai. At the age of 25, I decided to quit my job, invest in real estate for a passive income, and travel the world full time. Two years later, that's exactly what I'm still doing now. Other than traveling for fun, I also race cars professionally, but that's a story for another day. In 2024, my goal is to continue to explore Asia, then Europe, and then Africa. So make sure you hit that follow button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see all the crazy activities and adventures I partake in. I hope I inspire you to enjoy the greater things in life. Thanks for watching. Follows you guys, I would literally follow in her footsteps because she did it the right way. And this is how I know that she knows her craft. I promise you, she knows for a fact when she comes back from school and she graduates and she decides to get back into the vlogging and filming and racing and going to car meets and car shows once she gets back into that dynamic i promise you her channel is going to go back up because she knows when you're that good at what you do you could literally leave for years and then come back like nothing happened i'll tell you watch when she comes back brie is going to go crazy I swear. So, Brie, I got to give you your props if you see this video. Because, for real, it takes a lot of guts to leave all the hype and everything going on to now say, okay, I'm going to do something else and still have it be part of my dreams that I'm trying to chase. So, props to you, Brie. gonna have to uh, thumbs up this video because driving with the GoPro in your face in traffic is not for the weak you really got to know what you're doing and know your car inside and out people really hate driving like I don't understand the detector going off but I don't see any cops so we'll see oh wait the detector is right I think there's a cop right there just see some lights oh yeah look wow shout out to the radar for saving the day
trucks be coming so close on the highway. You wanna know what else I really haven't noticed too? It's like a lot of car YouTubers. Why is it so hard to just stay consistent? Like, I mean, no. Let me rephrase that because <laughs> I get it. Like, everybody has jobs. People got stuff to do. And, of course, like, it doesn't start out paying a lot, so it's hard to stay consistent, right? But for the ones who get the success and then they're finally starting to see results, they're finally getting paid and all that now, I never understand why they can never just keep it. Like, you finally got the goal that you're chasing and the only thing you gotta do is take out your camera or your GoPro and film, that's it. And I know it, it sounds easy and I know some people might be like, oh, well, I have to do this, I gotta do that. I get it, right? Everyone's busy, but YouTube can literally take off for you if you just stay consistent. Like Some of the biggest YouTubers literally said all they did was upload every day and they just kept building on top of it. And of course, you know, over time, you might get in the beginning, you know, three, four subscribers a month maybe, right? And then over time, that's three to four subscribers a week. And then you just keep going up and up and up. So that's why I feel like if you set yourself up as if you already have that success and and have that same grind, by the time you get there, it's gonna be even easier. So, I hope everyone out there is chasing the grind, going after everything that they want. How are you breaking? There's nobody in front of you, guy. Oh my gosh. I hate people like that. Look, another one. I've been seeing these Jeeps everywhere in uh, Florida. But again, I don't know if, cause like I hear so many mixed things, but this girl recently went viral and she said that she was going to meet her friends on vacation. And I think she was like driving to the place where they all were gonna meet up and her car broke down on the side of the highway. Keep in mind, she has like a 2024, I think so. Her, her Jeep is brand new. So to her, she's like, how is it that a brand new car is breaking down? Which, that is valid because imagine you go, you pay your money to get a brand new car. Your car shouldn't break down for a couple of years at least. So. All right, let me get out of here because everybody here is just playing too much. Get out of here.
great to own a boat like this, right? <laughs> Even these small boats be six figures. I give some of these truck drivers down here some of these guys can really drive like the way this dude just switched lanes I know he's been driving trucks for a minute <laughs> I know he has guys so if you enjoyed the video please give it a like comment and subscribe let me know what other content you want to see and i appreciate all of you guys for watching this video thank you <laughs>